In this video, I'll be using Rupolicy to deploy a new Microsoft Teams MSI X package. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. Then there are videos about extra group policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy. And also there is a video about installing Wix, because in this video I'll be using Wix to package the MSI X file into MSI file. And the last video in the list is about packaging Microsoft Teams MSI X file into MSI file. So basically the same steps that I will be performing in this video, but in the video that I have here, I'm covering the steps in more detail. So if you want more details about how to create the MSI package, you can watch this video right here. And now I'll begin this video by downloading all the necessary files for my group policy and I will start with the installation file. And for that I will use the link that I have here that brings me to the Microsoft documentation page where we can read about the new client and also the new installer. And for this video I will be downloading the MSI X 64-bit installer that you see here. I will click on the link right here and the download should start for me. And like I said I will be packaging this MSI X file into an MSI file. And for that we need a Wix configuration file. And for that I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the Wix configuration file. If I click on it, we can see that it's basically an XML file that has the instructions for Wix on how to package the MSI X file and also how to perform the installation. And if you want to use this configuration file for yourself, make sure to change the values in here. And I go in more details what you need to enter in here, like I said, in the video that I have here. So if you want to modify that file, I suggest that you watch this video that I have in the GitHub page. Anyways, now I'll continue with this one. And I will click on the button right here to download the configuration file. Then I will go to my downloads folder. And currently in my downloads folder, I have the Wix configuration file and also Microsoft Teams MSI X installation package. So now to convert this package into MSI file, we need to use Wix. And for that, I will open my terminal window. In my terminal window, I will change the location in the terminal to the location where I have my files. And I have my files in my downloads folder and my downloads folder is in my D drive. So I'll type CD, D and then downloads. Then I will press enter. If I type there, here we can see our files, the installation file and Wix configuration file. And to generate the MSI file, we need to type Wix build. Then we need to provide the configuration file name. So it's teams.mwxs. Then we need to press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, Wix managed to create the MSI file for me. It's in my downloads folder now, and we can use it to create the group policies. So I will right click on the file, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policies, but before creating the policies, we need to place the installation file in a network share that is accessible to my users and computers. So for that, I will open the file explorer. I will go to my file server. It's a service zero two for me. Here I have the software share and inside of this share, I will create another folder. I will name it teams, go inside of it and I will place the installation file here. And here you need to make sure that this share and this file is accessible to your computers. For example, in my case, if I go to properties, then security tab, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for my NTFS permissions. And authenticated users covers both users and computers. And with read permissions, that means that all of my users and all of my computers are able to access the share and execute files from it. And I also have the same permissions for my share permissions. Anyways, let's close this window and then we can go to the server manager and start creating our group policies. So for that, I will go to tools, group policy management, and here I will be creating two policies. The first policy will be for my computers. It's where we assign the software to the computers and the computers install the software during startup. And the second policy will be for my users. It's where we create a group policy for our users. We publish the software for the users and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they like. And like I said, I will start with the policy for my computers. So I'll right click on group policy object, select new, and I will name the policy assign. Microsoft Teams, then I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select edit. 
And because, like I said, we're creating a policy for the computers, we need to go to computer configuration, policies, software settings, and then software installation. And then I will right click in the window here, go to new and select package. Here you need to make sure that you're selecting a package that is located in the network share. Don't select a package that is located on the desktop because this will allow you to select that file. But when computers will try to install it, the installation will fail because they will not have the access to the server's desktop. So to access the share, once again, I will go to SRV02, my software share, Teams folder, and select the Teams MSI file. Then I will select Assigned and click on OK. Then I will right click on the package, select Properties, go to Deployment and Advance. Here I will select Ignore Language when deploying this package because I want to deploy it no matter what language are, is on my client machine. So then I will click on OK, Apply and OK. And that's basically it for the policy. We can close this window. Then I will go to Details and for GPU status, I will select User Configuration Settings Disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the software. In my case, the organization unit is this one and it holds most of my computers. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that is located in this organization unit that I have here. And here we need to update the upgroup policy because we didn't give it enough time to automatically update. And for that, I will go to my start menu. I will search for CMD. I will open it. Then I will type GP update, press enter. And now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. And here we get this message right here saying that the computer detected a software installation package. And for the package to install, we need to reboot the computer. So let's do that. I will just use command shut down minus R minus T0. Let's press enter and wait a bit once again. And here we can see a message saying that Microsoft Teams package is being installed. So everything seems to be working just fine so far. And the installation seems to be over. Now I'll sign back into my user account. Then I will go to start menu. Here we can see that Microsoft Teams was recently added. We can click on it. And it seems to be working just fine. And that's basically it for deploying Microsoft Teams MSIX package using group policy for the computers. And now let's create another policy, this time for domain users, and allow them to install the software whenever they like. So for that, I will go back to my server. I will right click on group policy objects, select new. This time I will name the policy publish Microsoft Teams. Then I will click OK. I will click on the policy and then I will right click on it. Then I will select edit. And because this time this policy is for my users, we need to go to user configuration, policies, software settings and software installation. Then I will right click here, go to new and select package. Once again, make sure that you're selecting a file that is located in a network share like this one. So I'll click on the MSI file. I will leave it at published. Then I will click OK. I will right click on the package, go to properties, then to the deployment tab. Here for the installation interface options, I will select basic, then go to advanced. And once again, I will select this checkbox and then click OK, apply and OK. And that's it for creating the policy. I will close this window and for GPU status this time I will select computer configuration settings disabled because this policy has only user settings in it. And once again after creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit. But this time we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding our users. In my case the organization unit will be this one. It's called users and currently it doesn't have any group policies. So to assign the policy once again I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also here. And to test this group policy, I will go to my other client machine that I have here. And here I have this shortcut that allows me to install the software that we publish using group policy. As you can see, the list is empty. And that's once again, because 
we didn't give it enough time to update on the client machine so once again i will go to my start menu search for cmd and here i will type gp update and press enter and we need to wait a bit once again and as you can see the policy update was successful now if i go back to the screen and refresh it we can see the microsoft teams package i will click install here now we need to wait a bit and as you can see the package was successfully installed if i click ok here go to my start menu once again we can see microsoft teams in here i will click on it and once again it gives me the sign-in screen so this policy is working just fine also also to show you that this works for windows 10 i have this virtual machine once again i will need to update the policy i will type gp update and then go to the control panel i will double click on this package starts the installation and we get this pop-up right here because the installation is performed using bism so we need to wait a bit more and once again the installation was successful if i click ok here we can go to the start menu and here we can see microsoft teams on this windows 10 virtual machine if i click on it it gives us the sign in screen and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one